second episode of our Forest Green career mode here on FIFA 18. Previously in the last episode we signed four players that can see in the squad in front of you. The two strikers are Kinda and Davis, Kian Bolger and Alex Kens. So we're going to now look to our transfer hub. And we all, and just quickly we also had um, Liam Noble who's going to be going out. We had a couple, a few new faces to our transfer hub. Stephen Humphrey, Josh Elba. I'm going to look at a couple of uh, a right back in Darnell Furlong and Stephen Quinn. We're going to try and bring in Stephen Quinn first as I sent the mid. As I feel like that's something we definitely need at the moment. Somebody who can come in, who can do a good a good job for us. All right, I want to. Okay, we're just going to go straight up. We're going to offer him about say six. That's off from 700 actually. 700 grand for Stephen Quinn. Is that something we can agree on? Hopefully we can. That'd be nice if we could. Right, it's like a deal we struck for Stephen Quinn. Right, let's go negotiate a deal now. Let's get him and himself and his agent into the club and let's see what we can do. Right, okay, so stuff like his, his role at the club, crucial obviously. A player of Stephen Quinn's age and a player of his calibre, it's obviously in League 2 going to be starting every game each week. He's a fantastic player to have and it'd be nice to have him in the midfield, offer a bit of quality in the midfield to spread the play and to keep this lovely pass of football going. The client's happy with that, a crucial offer. We're going to get onto his contract, he wants a one year deal. Okay, we're going to counter that and we're going to give you Mr Quinn. We want to offer you a two year contract. The one year deal doesn't really work for us, I'd love to have a two year deal under his belt, see what they say. Right, a two year contract works for Stephen Quinn. Brilliant, okay. Disregard any type of release clause, we're not interested in that. Let's talk straight to money. A uh, player of his quality will offer him 24.8 and then a signing bonus of 50,000. Well, let's see how they um, let's see how they go with that. 24,800 and 50 grand wage bonus as well. Oh, they and would be willing to lower his... Oh, okay. He's not off. He's lowering his wage now. He's taking a pay cut to join Forest Green Rovers. I'm pleased with that. The deal's been struck. That's a bargain. They're taking a big, a, cut, a chunk of his pay cut from his wages, but they wanted the bigger signing on fee. However, that's not a problem, and we've gone and signed him. So I'm going to wrap up another transfer deal. Wherever he is, where's um, where's Darnell Furlong? Where is he? Where's Mr. Furlong? <laughs> this would be funny. Where's Darnell Furlong? Um. Alright, oh, there he is. Approach to buy for Darnell Furlong as well. I'd love to get him in. A good young right back is just what we need at this club. Alright, see what deal we want to pursue. Okay, definitely a transfer fee. 820. Ian Holloway, 820 grand on the table. Let's see what you have to say with that. Is that a sum we can agree on? Superb. QPL's representative has agreed with that. Negotiate a deal with, uh, with Darnell himself. This would be a good right back. 21 years of age, 6-7 rated. It's just what we need. Alright, I thought it would be a good place to start for discuss his role at the club. Crucial. Player of his calibre is definitely, again, similar to Stephen Quinn. He's going to be starting for us. Alright, how many years do you want to sign for us? A three-year deal would be nice for Darnell. I think that would be a fantastic contract extent contract deal. Right, good. Three year contract under his belt. That's what we wanted. Yep. No release clause. Oh god, I didn't press. I didn't want to press end negotiation. That would have been a big problem if we'd have walked out and lost Darnell Furlong. That wouldn't have been good. Now that's done. I'd like to discuss his salary. Okie dokie. Um, right, ten grand a week, and we're willing to offer you a bonus of forty grand. Okay, another another one taking the pay cut. We'll accept that as well. Right, big deal struck there. Darnell, Darnell Furlong comes in from Queen's Park Rangers. Right back position sorted. This is what we needed, really. I'm happy with that. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna we're gonna advance a couple of days. Hopefully, the Liam Noble deal to Grimsby's actually concluded now. That would be nice just to conclude the deal for him there as well. Right, confirmation Liam Noble's gone through. That was about 120,000 pounds he's gone to Grimsby for. I made a mistake there, to be fair. We could have got more. However, right, Keanu Marsh Brown, 470 grand. How much is he actually worth, Keanu Marsh Brown? He's worth 400. He's a right mid. I think we could, um. We'll accept that straight up. Keanu Marsh Brown. Paul Hurst at um, Shrewsbury, he likes his lower league talent. So that's something we'll definitely look at. Right, next one. We're going to go for another a right midfielder this time by the name of uh, Jody Jones. As you can see, that we're trying. 
Oh, we can actually go for Reese Nelson, can we? Okay. That adds a spat. That adds a curveball. I could probably sign both. Since Carney Marsh Brown's gone, Jody Jones would probably start for us. Right, chucking an 800 grand um, thing for Jody Jones. Right, deal struck there as well. That's brilliant. Okay. Right, let's just try and get this deal tied up for Jody Jones. He's going to be our starting right midfielder. We're going to get Brown, um, Reese Nelson as well. He'll be a good player to have on the bench just to add some squad depth. Right, okay. That's fantastic. That's what he wanted. Does he want that? Oh, good, good, good. We're making progress. Let's see how many years you want to sign for us. A three-year contract we want to give him as well. Obviously, this, this transfer negotiation thing can, is quite repetitive and can be quite tedious. However, I like the way it's, it's, it's realistic. Disregard any release clause. We would like to just give him the quality of my client. Two grand a week. That's a bargain. Yes. Right, okay. Jody Jones comes into the club now. We've tied up that deal. That's good. It's good business. Jody Jones will come in as our starting right midfielder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go for another right midfielder by the name of Anthony Wordsworth. He, he, he goes unnoticed at Southend alongside Ryan Leonard in the midfield. I'll be delighted to get him in as we go and speak to Phil Brown now. Again, that looks nothing like him, but obviously with EA Sports, they don't really know, they don't really care about the Leagues 1 and 2, really. So you see, even Quinn's name's already framed on the window. It's interesting. On the wall, I mean. All right, okay, on the same page, what type do we want to discuss? Definitely a transfer fee. Um, 610 is what we're going to try and offer them. We're offering big big money for some of these players, but it's worth it in my opinion. I'm happy with that. That's good as well. So we've got, we got a cup. we got... Okay, where is he? <laughs> He's appears to have gone... Alright, okay, we've agreed terms of him. I've got a few more targets. We're going to... Get a new centre-half in as well. Lack of it, he's good. However, I think he's quite young. Thanks for having us. Okay. Yep. That's what we want to do. He wants to be part of the first team. There's a lot of competition in places for the squad. Not in the centre not, not in the centre of midfield, in my opinion. But making good progress. And that's the grin. How many years do you want to sign for us? Uh, Two-year contract. Would that be good enough for you, Wordsworth? Okay. Superb. Disregard the release clause at 28... Well, 980 grand release calls in his contract. Okay, we'll accept that. He's 28 years old, so that'd be actually good money if someone could trigger that. I mean, if, he, if we keep him for two seasons, he'll get to well, the pens really. Don't wanna. Don't wanna get one. That's okay. 300, three grand. Okay, we can accept that as well. Right. Okay, we bring in uh, Anthony Wordsworth. He joins the club. We're gonna get Reese Nelson very shortly. We're gonna advance a couple more days as well, and we're gonna try and progress even more. I also want to play the first game of the season up at home to Barnet as well. Definitely want to get him into the first game in this episode. So we're going to definitely advance a bit more. And hopefully we get the chance to play that. Okay, Barnet want Keanu Marsh-Brown. We don't really want to sell to a lower league rival. So we're going to, we don't, don't want to sell to a league rival who could potentially be in and around the same position as us in the league. So we're going to straight up reject that offer, as we just did there. We don't want to give him an, an away to any, any player. Any club, really, like Barnet, who can, as I said before, they'll probably be in and around the same position as us. So we don't really want to be giving up our, our best players, really. Okay, as we progress on to the July 22nd. Uh, we're going to stop simulation now. I want, to do a, I want to do a double transfer deal. However, before we actually even get into that, let's bring in Wordsworth into the team, Stephen Quinn into the team, Jody Jones into the team, and finally, Darnell Furlong. We're going to bring Traore up onto the bench as well as uh, James as well for a month. Deutsch, yeah, that's a good, that's not a bad little bench there. As you see now, just quickly looking at our squad, we're starting to get a good, good group there now. A team that I'll be happy going to League 2 with. We're going to look to, make, if Reese Nelson could play, I think Jody Jones can play left midfield. We'll check that before the first game. If he does, that's perfect. But I will definitely want a new centre-half as well. We'll read all the emails. I don't really care about any of the emails to us. Okay, Archibald Henville, he could be a good young centre back for us. Um okay, we could maybe look at him. Sean this is kind of Sean to see there as well. Jaribo, Billy Bowden, Jake Jervis. If we can. Okay, resales are not looking to relocate, that's a shame. 
Um, hmm. OK, we'll go for Archibald Henville. He could be a good centre-back at a... Um, We'll see how much they want to offer first. Troy Archibald Tenville. Okay. Two hundred and twenty grand. That could be a good starting point. I thought I wasted my trip here. To be fair, he's not really worth. Oh, okay, that's a problem. Okay, we're going to have to go for another centre-back. Right, okay, they're not, they're not on our transfer target. So we're going to go straight into into one. I want to go for a League 2 centre-back. Hmm, let's have a look. This is quite tough. Who can we bring him? Something good. Right, okay. Um, Christian Pierce would be a good one. He's got a good league to experience. I think that's what we could do at the back. Someone like him. George Taft, he's only gone to Cambridge United. They've been a good time then, wouldn't they? Luke Waterfall. Jordan Willis. Okay. Okay. Right, okay. Let's go into our transfer hub. Go all the way down. How tall are you? 26, 22. He'd probably be a, a bit our best. Uh, he'd probably be a good player to have, Jordan Willis. But I do like the look of Luke Waterfall at centre back. I think he could be a good a good deal. Right, approach to buy. Okay, we're gonna be this is gonna be a shot in the dark for Luke, um, for Waterfall. Four hundred grand. Okay, wonderful. That's what we wanted. Superb. Okay, good, good. Right, I want to give him a two-year deal as well. Okay, wonderful. Yeah, no problem with that. Must we don't want to give any release clause into him either. Right, okay. And the reason I was skimming through some of this text and that we've got we've got Waterfall in. He's a good centre back. That's what we wanted. It's just that I want to try and um, really try and kick on with this. Try and get into the first game in this episode as well. So that'd be really good. I like a left side in midfield actually as well from League Two. We're signing a lot of League Two players. This is really what I want. It's something I'd be happy to do. Okay, Nathan Arnold, he'd be a good signing, wouldn't he? Obviously, one promotion with Cambridge and Grimsby in the past couple of years. Josh Ginley as well. He's got a good bit of pace. Twenty years old. There's actually some good wingers here. George Maris, he's not a bad player. Montano, Alfie Potter, Carl Reed, Martin Wolford. Okay, Sean McConville as well. Right, let's go up to League One. There's always good wingers at League One level. Plenty of talented ones as well. Okay, Harry Forrester, Hoskins, Kitely, Lalkovich, Danny Mayer. Uh, um, hmm. Championship level. Okay, we're going quite high now in terms of trying to get in a left-sided midfielder. Anyway, I'm quite pleased that we're going to try and go high for someone. We'd love to get Marvin Johnson in at some point. He'd be a fantastic signing for us. Mbagoto. Right, say Samuel. He'd be a good deal if we could get him on a loan. He's obviously he's obviously a talented player at the moment. He's doing very he's actually not a bad player. If we could get him on a loan deal. Oh, George Williams. Right, I'm going to be bold here. I'm going to try and um, try and get a loan deal for Brighter, say Samuel. 
Transfer hub. I like him at left mid. I think he'd be a very good player for us, actually, wouldn't he? Right, approach a loan deal for a say, Samuel. It'll only be a season long, a season long loan. Right, it'd be a perfect time to give him an impact. Okay, when you share, okay, eighty to twenty. Fifty-fifty, I think, is fair enough. Really, you can both pay the exact. Okay, we'll accept that. Okay, right. Okay, I think that's to say Samuel signed. I hope it is. Yeah, that should be deal concluded for him as well. Okay, that's good. Definitely good. That's definitely fantastic. We're recruiting good. We've got a good pacey left winger now. He'll add some creativity to this club. Oh, we've rejected. Has rejected the chance to join our club. Oh. And Keanu Marsh Browns, he's gone down as well. Okay. Okay. It's not what I expected. Wow, that's a bit that's a big that's a big spanner in our plans. George Williams. He can play anywhere across the back line. No, I mean across the midfield actually, that'd be a good deal. George Williams at twelve do you? Tempted to buy him actually, I think he'd be a good sign in. Well approach to buy George Williams, I think he'd be a good deal at left mid for us. From Fulham, good young player. Transfer fee of 700. And get a good game time at us. Okay, well, so obviously Kamic has definitely aged a bit, hasn't he, in terms of trying to bring in someone. Right, this is good, this is good. Okay, progressing, progressing, progressing. Right, good. Let's talk about the age. Right, the agent's trying to go through his. Yep, okay. He will start for us. He's really the only actual identified left midfielder for us. Right, discuss the link for the contract. Three year deal. Hopefully that can be good enough for him. Perfect. Disregard any type of release clause. He wants 10 grand a week. Fantastic. There we go. George Williams joins the club. I think we have enough now to really kick on to the start of the season. Our starting 11 is practically built now. We'll look for a centre-back. There's no rush to bring in a centre-back. Lack of it, he'll do a good job there, in my opinion. I'll focus, I'll focus on player training. We'll get into that in the next episode. And I'm going to try and get through to this first game. Play the first game for you guys. Then we'll start to really focus on a, a couple of depth players. Another starting centre-back. There we go. Forrest Green signed George Williams, 700 grand. I like the way they do that in the press. Transfer for Dale Bennett. Good. We don't need him. Okay, 185. Yep, accept that straight up. So Keanu Marsh Brown isn't leaving. Isn't leaving. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. To be fair, I, I, I want to use him off the bench anyway. So that's a, a good deal. Looking at the way our squad is at the moment, we've we've got a good crop of players there. I'm quite pleased with who we've brung in. It's, fan, it's a fantastic squad with good potential. We're coming to late July now. We're building into that first game of the season now against. Barnet. That'll be a good test for us against a strong Barnet side. Who will look quite dangerous. They'll cause problems as well. We're going to definitely look to try another centre back, as I said. Someone stronger who can start, who can cause a bit of strength. We're looking at Christian Pierce, maybe as well. He came up on the transfer list. Definitely someone. Dale Bennett's gone. Confirmation there. That's what we want. So, in our first two games, got in a, I think that's League Cup against Rodham. We'll definitely play a weekend side for that. I'll sort out the squad off camera. Right, once I want, yeah, off recording, we'll sort out the sort that out. Okay, Waterfall, that's good. He's a good centre back to start with. We'll start with him actually over Lacaviti. Actually, Lacaviti should start really over Waterfall, shouldn't he? That'd make more sense. Mark Roberts can drop to the bench or drop to the reserves more like. Uh, George Williams, you come in for Randall. That's actually a good team. Wait, how tall is he? Six foot one. How tall is Waterfall? Six foot two. Hmm. Yeah, Lacavity looks a solid player. Right, that's just, that's the team we're going to rock with for this first game. I'm intrigued to see how we get on in this game. We've got 
we now signed a good group of players. So obviously he's got his 4 4 2 yet, that's perfect, I'm happy with that. Alright, it's against his first game against Barnet. This will be interesting to see how we go. Obviously, Barnet, a Kinday's old side. Wouldn't it be lovely for him to go and get a first goal for it? Get a first goal. That would be very good. Hopefully, we can win this game. I don't want to come on the end of a defeat in this game. Try and dominate the ball. Create as many chances as we can. And fingers crossed we can create some good, good chances in this match. Pointless skill game. Alright, straight in off the bat. Here we go. Keenan Davis kicks off our first game of his Forest Green career mode. That's a lovely ball out wide, straight away. Terrible touch from Jody Jones. We play defensive at home, we're not going to... ...making his debut, and it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Here's Williams. I'm impressed with Jody Jones' first impression here at Forest Green. He's made a couple of sloppy passes. Nelson oh. Comes in with a tackle. Bit of space to... It could be a chance. Oh, big save from Jamie Stevens. Big chance there. Okay, Wordsworth on the that free kick. A the He'll fizz that into the box. Here. Can't get ahead to that. Cool first will come away with it. Donald Furlong will chase. Well, they can be... Really, the heartbeat of the team, they said. Guiding it through. Brilliant pass, can he finish it? Well, he has got a chance to get the cross in. It's an excellent cross. Oh, oh Davis, it's the bar. What a well-worked chance that was. We played some fantastic stuff there. Some great hold-up play from the big man, Kinde. It's a chance again. Oh, over the bar. Jamie Stevens is actually having an absolute world of the game so far. Scott Laird again on the on the launch pad, puts it in. In the middle we go. Again another save. Jamie Stevens is actually having a world of the game this half. He's done about five saves so far. It's actually really good. Okay, might be a bit too close to keep. We might come and catch that. They head that away. Oh, bunched up there. Can Barnet clear their lines? Yes, they can. They get it away. Just drop back in the striker there to get the ball in midfield. On the attack here. I'm going to go left. Play footwork. Oh, chance. oh. Still passing, but not really making inroads. Oh, Stevie Quinn, mate. Yeah, I just not killed the end of that. And that header. Cut out the pass. Attacking now. Kinde. Oh, another big save from Jamie Stevens. That does not go out for a corner. It's safe to say we've dominated the first half of this game. We've created the better chances of the two sides, but we just can't put the ball in the back of the net. And Barnett have a narrow chance there. Okay, well, bring it out from the back. We're going to play, try and play some good football in a, in a league that's not associated with some pleasant stuff, really. It's the big man. You hold it. Go left. There we go. It's a good play. Wordsworth. Oh. Davis, what a finish from Keenan Davis for a mistake from Barnett. Keenan Davis scores the first goal of this uh, not Forest Green career mode. What a fantastic finish. Deservedly, we take the lead. Barnett failed to clear their lines. Davis comes in, picks it up, thumps that ball past the on diving Jamie Stevens. On the 33rd minute, we deservedly take the lead. Fantastic, well taken finish from the Villa man, ex Villa man, I should say. It wasn't a very good tackle. Well, that's the tackling. Has seen that they've kept the ball, and they'll be pleased to call first off. is in. Here's Should go call first. Oh, hit the, frame of the, goal. Hit the post. Well, An orthodox type of dive from Alex Cairns. I'm a bit worried about him in goal. He doesn't fill me with too much confidence. And Jones. Some fantastic. He's onside. Numbers in this attack, and it looks dangerous. We're knocking this ball around so confidently. It's, very, it's good to see. 
And here comes the support. Ah. It's good play until they got that challenge in. Nelson. We're approaching half time. I'm quite pleased with the performance so far. They tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. Probing. Opportunity now. Akinde. Oh, he's put it wide Chris against his former club. Yeah, the build up play in that was fantastic. It should have been really from that distance. Ooh, what is the back of him there, Darnell Furlong? Okay, half time. Richard Brindley concludes the half time there. The full back dominate this game so far. Let's check the match stats, match facts. 50-50 you know, on the ball. I thought we had much more on the ball compared to them. Anyway, going to the second half. And the referee is blown. The signal was Obviously, one 0 We're not the three bags and three bags. Three points not secure in the bag just yet. We definitely need to kick on and get a, a, another well, a fantastic goal. Here. Oh, we'll tackle Stephen Quinn. Can't attacks on here. Space on the left-hand side. If Jones can take that on, he can. If we can just bring that forward. Oh! Look very good indeed, but the move has broken down. Now Jones. Right, use, use a space to Williams. He's coming forward with some danger. Oh, the build up there. Passing and the opposition able to deal with that. Now Williams. Try the back heel. This could lead to a chance. It's good attacking play. Walk out of my furlong. Foul. Strong tackle. Get your lines cleared. Here's Davis. And it's Williams. It's Quinn. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. It's a good cross. What's worth? We get a luck we get a lucky, lucky bounce. And we double our lead. Very fortunately there. With a lucky volley. I'll take the luck. We're two 0 up against Barnet, and we're going. We're flying. We're absolutely flying in this in this game. It's a well taken finish there. To be fair to him, he reacts first to the ball and fires it in. It's quite by Barnet. They haven't turned up this game. All right, it's Ricardo Santos there on the ball. He gives it up there. Right, Akinola moves the ball. So Curtis Weston, I think that is. This Brack Pro, we're just cutting it out here, just Got playing some lovely in. star fast, it's good football. Williams. It is. Oh, what a save! What a save from Jamie Stevens. Alright, Kinde holds it up. Jonathan Kinde shoots narrowly wide. Alright, gonna make a couple of subs, quickly pulls it. Right, with the game one, I thought like we're just going to give a couple of new players some run out. Bring him into the middle, take him, take off Quinn and bring on Keanu Marsh Brown, who sh was going to leave, yeah, but in the end we kept hold of him. Triple, triple sub there, Deutsch, Keanu Marsh Brown, and Reese Brown come on. Saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. Right, here we go. Right. Oh, got that one over there. Right, Keenan Davis comes in. It goes out wide again. Oh, should have passed that then. Don't know what I was doing with that. He's taking a chance, but he's keeping the ball under some pressure. Keanu Marsh Brown. Oh, Christian Dodd, Doi Chavi missed that, yeah, mate. He, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Poor header there, really. Should be really trying to be flicking that on or trying to direct that towards goal. Scott Ned win that. He does. Very balanced, we're looking at that. Barnett are starting to throw men forward now. Good forward play from them. Okay. Big shot there, comfortable from Cairns. A goalkeeper of this calibre. A throw. Well, the attack, which looks so promising, has now been stopped in its tracks. 
And now it's about defending. Well, the news has been confirmed from Old Trafford. Manchester oh, Chris Dodge. Completed the oh, Dodge. Exciting deal this or battled, that's what we want to see. His teammates, around 70 million pounds. The channel. Fantastic finish, that's 3-0, that should be game set a match. A National League, 30 goals from last season. Manager. Takes that one on his left foot very nicely actually, I'm impressed with, with that. That's a fantastic little finish, look. It's down there, into the near post, comes across the keeper. What, which is what he should be doing from that angle. It's a good win for us on the first day. Obviously it's going to get much harder from here, but if you meet, the results are not going to be... What's as easy as this. Like. We're just lucky to play against a side who are not as good as us. Right, so let these keep switching the play. They want to keep doing this. Right, Nelson on the ball. Okay. And stop. Let's just press them a bit, boys. High pressure. Switches off. Oh, what a even hit the crossbar. What effort that would have been. Here's Davis. This He's offside. Against the side that can break like that. He's in. Good vision. Just the keeper oh. to He's tried to hit this. Full right time whistle down. goes after King Davis smacks it over the bar. And I mean to be fair, we deserve that win. I felt we had some we had played some outstanding stuff. And I think if we didn't I thought we deserved that win really. First half, Jamie Stevens for Barnet had a fantastic opening twenty minutes. He made some crucial saves. English and this is perfect. It's a good start, really. First three points of the season. 3 0, first game. Clean sheet as well. This is, this is perfect. We're going to obviously, once we come out of the scoreboard here, a couple of results from around the, around the league. We're going to sim up to this um, Carabao Cup first round gamer home to Rotherham. We're gonna, this is where we're going to wrap up our episode. Let's quickly see Paris PSG signs to Fandor Bridge for £33.6 million. But anyway, this is where we're going to wrap up our episode, guys. Hopefully, you hit a like on this one. Subscribe, and if we can hit 100 views again, really, for second the second episode i'll be delighted with that and we'll see you all on episode number three